Did you know that it's possible to walk just two and a half miles from the US to Russia, but that by the time you got there, you would arrive 21 hours later than when you started? The key is crossing the Bering Strait, the body of water that separates Alaska from northeastern Siberia. This is a tale of icy survival, geographical quirks, and human determination. So, put on your hiking boots and join us as we explore one of the most astonishing walking routes in the world, from the US to Russia, on foot. The 55-mile gap. If you look at a map, the distance between mainland Alaska and Russia might seem vast, but at their nearest points, the two countries are a mere 55 miles apart. This narrow divide is known as the Bering Strait, separating the Seward Peninsula in Alaska and the Chukotka Peninsula in Russia. This body of water forms a crucial geographical boundary that links the Pacific and Arctic Oceans. However, that seemingly small distance hides massive challenges. What makes this stretch of ocean so remarkable is that it isn't just a watery divide. It's a historical and ecological treasure. The Bering Strait was once home to a land bridge that connected Asia and North America, facilitating the migration of humans and animals thousands of years ago. Though that bridge has long disappeared, the allure of crossing this icy expanse remains, with adventurers captivated by the challenge of walking the route once traveled by ancient humans. A frozen path. How winter turns the impossible into possible. Walking across the Bering Strait sounds impossible, and during most of the year, it is. However, in the depths of winter, nature presents a rare opportunity. During particularly cold seasons, an ice bridge can form across the strait, connecting Alaska to Russia. This phenomenon happens for only a few days a year, offering the determined few a temporary path to cross. Yet, make no mistake, this is not a casual winter stroll. The Bering Strait is subjected to ferocious Arctic storms, bone-chilling temperatures, and unpredictable ice formations. Even seasoned explorers have found themselves at the mercy of the shifting ice, swept off course by strong currents or trapped by floating icebergs. A successful crossing requires perfect timing, a deep understanding of the region's climate, and an iron will to withstand the elements. Big Diomede and Little Diomede, islands stuck in time. In the middle of the Bering Strait sit two small islands, Big Diomede, owned by Russia, and Little Diomede, part of the United States. These islands are only about 2.5 miles apart, but they exist in two completely different worlds. The international date line runs between them, making Big Diomede nearly a full day ahead of its smaller neighbor. Locally, they are often called Tomorrow Island and Yesterday Island because of this unique quirk. These islands are more than just geographical oddities. For anyone attempting the journey on foot, they serve as potential rest stops. The rocky, fog-covered terrain of Little Diomede is home to a tiny population of Inupiat Eskimos, while Big Diomede has no permanent residence today. Its last inhabitants were removed after World War II. The island's proximity means that on a clear day, you can literally see into the future from one to the other. But don't be fooled. This isn't an easy hop from one landmass to another. Dense fog, frigid waters, and unpredictable ice make the crossing between the Diomede Islands a significant hurdle. The dangers of crossing, weather, wildlife, and the unforgiving ice. Even for the most prepared explorer, the challenges of crossing the Bering Strait are extreme. For starters, the weather in this region is notoriously unforgiving. Temperatures regularly plummet below freezing, and high winds reaching 60 to 70 miles per hour can make the simplest task nearly impossible. The ice itself is treacherous, prone to cracking, shifting, and melting without warning. Anyone venturing onto it faces the risk of falling into freezing waters. But it's not just the ice and weather that present dangers. Wildlife in this region is equally formidable. Polar bears are known to roam the frozen landscape, while they may look majestic from a distance.
divide. Another notable attempt came from British adventurer Carl Bushby, who in 2006 walked from Alaska to Russia as part of his mission to circumnavigate the globe on foot. Along with his companion, Dmitry Kiefer, Bushby took 14 days to cross the Bering Strait, enduring severe weather conditions and dodging Russian authorities, only to be detained and deported upon arrival in Russia. For every successful attempt, however, there are countless stories of failure. Explorers have been lost to the harsh conditions their bodies never found. It's a stark reminder that while walking from Alaska to Russia is technically possible, it is far from safe or easy. A journey beyond borders, but not without risks. Walking from the US to Russia may sound like the ultimate adventure, but it's a feat that only the most determined and prepared explorers have ever achieved. The combination of extreme weather, dangerous wildlife, and political tensions makes this one of the most perilous crossings 